हे अगेन वी आर बैक विद न्यू चैप्टर ऑन ब्रशेज सो लेट्स सी हाउ ब्रशेज वर्क इन फोटोशॉप सो वी हैव ब्रश टूल हेयर सो द मोमेंट आई विल राइट क्लिक ऑन माई कैनवेस आई विल सी द सेटिंग ऑफ माई ब्रशेज सो हेयर इज अ साइज ऑफ माई ब्रश सो इट्स फोर्टी फोर पिक्सल फॉर नाउ एंड लेट मी इंक्रीज द साइज एंड यू विल सी द डिफरेंस लेट मी इंक्रीज मोव and it will increase so let's create a new layer to see the effect so we have brush tool and let's turn the color to black and we are painting with this size and this smoothness let's make it little bit more sharp or hard so let's make increase the hardness and it will hard on edges let's increase hardness to 100% so you will see now it will create a sharp shape so we can control size and hardness from here or we can choose these different recent used best sizes and hardness settings so we are using this size and we are using zero hardness for now we can always see the angle it will it won't work on circle like circular brush so let's see other brushes also so we have soft brushes we have hard round brush so let's move on to other brushes special effect brushes so we have particles here so let's see let's see how this works so we have this particle brushes we have black color we have 248 pixel 306 306 pixel size and now let's try this so it will create a effect like this so you can imagine how you can use this tool so let's see more brushes so these are different kind of brushes let's see what else we can do from these brushes we have wet media brushes also so let's see how wet media brush so we have wet media brushes dry brushes these are the default brushes we will have with photoshop we can always import our own brushes from this palette import brushes we can always export these brushes let's see how we can import brushes so let's go to the google search free photoshop brushes go to the go to any website any free website select choose any of the brush you want to choose you can make this effect with brushes these effects the smoke effects watercolor effects so for now let's see this example we have this brush here let's see how we can install this brushes so you will get dot abr file as a brush format of photoshop so we can always right click select the brush tool right click here click here and import brushes and we will select that abr file and the moment we select that abr file we will have that brushes here so let's see how we can use any of this let's select this one and let's create a new layer and let's make the size little bit more bigger and i will click here so this is a watercolor effect so let's try other brushes also i'll increase the size and i will paint it here it will give you pretty good effect and you can always try other brushes and look for brushes and use it in a, your artwork so let's see how we can use this brush with this so let me unlock this layer let me try clipping mask with this brush so we have learned to click alt and click it between these layers and it will move our picture in that brush and we can always paint on this layer with different brushes and we can modify it like we can add more layers and it will give you a pretty good watercolor effect on your image 
So let's create a background layer to make a pretty look. Let's lock this layer so that we cannot move our background and we can work on our layers. So we will select this layer, hold control on our keyboard, click here, select both the layers and press control G to group that layer. The moment I try to move this group, it will select this layer. So let me change the setting to auto select layer to group. Now we can only select group and move it. So we can move it, we can transform and scale it, and place it here and we can always add some more effects. Let's make a copy of this layer. Let's transform it and let's place it here. Let's transform down it here. Let's try to add more brushes in this layer. So we will turn convert this to layer. So we will convert the setting to layer here and we will go to our brush layer and we will try to add more brushes. So let's let's add these splashes. Now we will try to add the spatial effect brush these splashes. So I will increase the size and we will add the splashes. We will have that image. So that's how we use our brush tool. So let me turn this off. Let me create a blank canvas. We will create a new layer. We will create a new layer and now we will try to change the angle of this brush. We can always narrow it down. We can always make it bigger. We can always change angles. We can always increase or decrease the sizes. So it will give us a watercolor texture effect. So let me try with different colors also. So we have red color. We have different color. We have different color over this. We have different color this. So that's how we will use the brush tool. And these are the basic settings. These are the basic things you can do by using brush tool. You can always download brush from this website or any other website available. You can always download arrow brushes, charcoal brushes, rain brushes, and you can create those effects. So these are the basic settings and basic options with brush tool. So let's see one more palette that comes with brush tool. So we will go to the window, we will go to the brush and we will have this brush palette. So we have that brushes that we got here when we create right click on our canvas. We have brushes and we have brushes settings. Let's see how brush settings works for us. So let me close it. We'll create a new layer. So we have selected this brush. We can click sizes from here. This is the current size of it. We can flip it. So it will flip. We can flip it in Y direction. Oh, we can flip it in both the directions. So it will look like this. We can turn these options off. We can always change the angle that we have seen here also. Here is the angle. You can always put any angle, particular angle you want to change it. We can change the roundness of it. Let's see how roundness work. This is the roundness. We have seen it. These are the roundness option we have seen here also. So these are the similar option. Here is a spacing option. So we can increase the spacing or decrease the spacing. Let's, let's see how this will work. So if we so if I increase this, so if I increase the spacing, let me turn it off. Let me create a new layer. Let me create a new color. And if I, and if I created the spacing and 
I will drag it over canvas. It will automatically take that spacing and spread our brush. So I can decrease the size. It will come like that. I can decrease it like that. It will. I can decrease it more and it will come like that. So that's how these setting will work. So let me increase the spacing and let's see more options. So in shape dynamics, in size editor, if we use zero percent, it will be the same size. And if we increase the size, it will vary in sizes. So let's see. So this is how size editor works. Let's command Z. Let's see other options. So we have seen size editor. The moment I increase the size editor, it will turn out this option. So it will define a diameter of this size editor. If I decrease the diameter, it will come like this. We can always change the angle of our brush. We can always change the roundness of our brush. We can scatter our brush. We can increase the count of our brush on every stroke. So you can always try on these options. So we can always try shape dynamics and scattering. And there is one more op important option, color dynamics. Let's see how color dynamic help us. So I have selected color dynamics. I have increases the foreground background jitter and I have selected pink in foreground and I've selected. Let's select green in background. So it will choose both pink and green and mix those colors and give me a final color like this. Let's see the example. If I increase the hue, hue is the color value. If I increase the hue, it will change the intensity. You can see the difference between these two colors. Now, if I increase saturation, saturation will be the intensity of particular color. So let's see how saturation will affect it. So it has increased the saturation of background color. So let's see how brightness will affect it. It has in increased the brightness of background color. How purity will affect it. It has added that foreground color. So these are options you can experiment with. You can always play with these options. So go try these options and make amazing things. That's it for this lesson and I will see you guys in next video. Until then, stay safe.